and welcome to this week's episode of Fashion Frenzy. I'm your host, Michelle. Are you ready to get dressed up? This week on Fashion Frenzy, interestingly enough, I'm speaking to my namesake, Michelle Agnes Simumba, and I will also be speaking to James Zuse, who are the king and queen of model with a brand. Stay tuned. All right, so as earlier mentioned, I'm speaking to Michelle Agnes Simumba, who is a model as well as queen of model with a brand. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank All right, so um, as queen, <laughs> uh, before we dive into, you know, you and queening, yes. um, we'll talk a bit more about yourself and okay. um, how you started out in the modeling uh, industry. Okay. Yeah. Um, I started modeling way back. Okay. Yeah. If my memory serves me right, I think I should have been a six by then. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> wow. It's, it's like an inborn mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I started modeling at six. Okay. But then I did it uh, mostly at church. Okay. Yeah. I remember the first contest I won. Um, that was at seven. I was at seven. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was seven, seven years, years by then. Old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was uh, Mary Queen of Peace. Okay. Miss Mary Queen of Peace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That got me so excited. <laughs> I can imagine. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, going home mm-hmm. with a crown, the sashi all over mm-hmm. your body. And then, you know, I was, I was motivated because yeah. mom was happy about it. Mm-hmm. You know, they really supported me since okay. that day, since day one, so mm-hmm. to say. Yeah. So I started modeling then mm-hmm. until now. So mm-hmm. one. Uh, quite a few pageants, okay. uh, lost maybe a few as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I started modeling then mm-hmm. until now. Okay, sure. and I'm glad that you answered that part because my next question was, um, you know, if you started so young, yeah. how how was the response from family and friends? Okay. But I'm, I'm glad that they actually supported it. Yeah, it uh, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, my my parents and and friends would uh, always be there for yeah. me. You know, it's something that. Uh, I've received, I would say, 100% from them, mm-hmm. especially my mom and dad, because mm-hmm. just recently this uh, outfit I, I wore yeah. um, on, on my tradition and glamour pageant, mm-hmm. um, it's actually my mom and dad who designed it oh, for wow. me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they've been there since mm-hmm. my, my family, my, my friends, mm-hmm. they're always there to support me. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm, you know, many a times that I would be, um, I'll have a pageant somewhere and then mom yeah. would be there in the audience, mm-hmm. you know. Just to, to cheer up, <laughs> you know, it yeah. gives me a lot of uh, mm-hmm. motivation, yeah, and encouraged all the time. So mm-hmm. it's it's very fun like that. So mm-hmm. that's why I enjoy it because mm-hmm. my parents are always there, and my friends, yeah. they never left my side. Okay, yeah. interesting. And how's your experience been as a model in in, in the ever growing industry? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> how's your experience been? It's okay. I would I would say it's tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then. I think I'm getting there. Okay. Yeah. So um, at least I, I've 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 worked with a few mm-hmm. um, modeling agencies. Mm-hmm. Then, though currently I'm not under any agency, but okay. then due to uh, CDI, mm-hmm. I'm now I'll have to work with uh, the CDI mm-hmm. henceforth. Mm-hmm. But then the experience has been quite okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, though tough. Mm-hmm. You know. This is something that um, most people wouldn't consider it as in, to be serious in Zambia. That's true. Yeah, That's very so true. I mean, people exactly. are always looking down. Yeah, on, exactly. But on then the people that are modeling. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they will always give you know those bad names mm-hmm. about you know the Zambian models. Absolutely. Yeah, not only Zambian models, but just a <laughs> model. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. I think they're getting to understand what it is all about because mm-hmm. it's not all about just. Wearing these high heels, yeah. you just stay walking on stage, yeah. But <laughs> it's it's way involving because mm-hmm. um, they bring it to life. Uh, now that we're working with uh, CDI, mm-hmm. we'll have a lot to do. Okay. We'll have uh, workshops from time to time. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then um, um, me being the winner, yeah, I'll have to work with uh, about ten girls. Okay. Yes, um, with the. Um, uh, through our sponsors, mm-hmm. we'll have to support ten girls to school. You can okay. imagine that. Wow! So it's it's actually we're bringing, um, mm-hmm. uh, I would say, the future to other people, mm-hmm. the vulnerable, so to say. Exactly. Yeah. So it's it's very involving. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. And what are some of the um, challenges that you have encountered? I mean, for you who's been doing it for such a long time, obviously. You've had different experiences yeah. because you've you've taken part in different yeah, uh, pageants exactly. and so yeah. How, what are some of the challenges that you 
the field the industry possesses? Okay, uh, the challenge is we lack uh, sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't have uh, the people who just come on board freely to just say, right. okay, this person is talented mm -hmm. in such and such a way, and mm -hmm. then they will need, uh, you know, sponsors sponsors to come mm -hmm. on board. Mm -hmm. Then that's the main challenge we have mm -hmm. uh, currently. Yeah, you know, it's just not everyone who can come on board to sponsor to support. Mm -hmm. That's the main challenge we have. That's then true. if um, if if we were to work on that, I think the, the the modeling career, the modeling industry will actually get to be, you know, mm -hmm. very far from from what we have now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the challenge we have. Right. Just sponsorship. We lack um, people to support. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, tell us a bit more about um, model with a brand. What what's that about? Okay, model the brand is. Um, Actually, it's 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 about tradition and, and glamour. Okay. Yes, how you can, because war. If you will go back to the event mm -hmm. on Friday, mm -hmm. you know, different people came on board talking mm -hmm. about uh, you know the different culture mm -hmm. and the beliefs. Right. It was quite I mean interesting to mm -hmm. actually learn because mm -hmm. I personally didn't know what the people from maybe the Western province do, yeah. the mm -hmm. Easterners. Exactly. So I got to be you know interested in mm -hmm. their culture you know their, their tradition so this is a, a brand which wants to promote culture mm -hmm. tradition mm -hmm. exactly so we brought in the the, the culture aspects there okay. we mm -hmm. discussed so many things mm -hmm. there were so many talented uh, young women and men mm -hmm. who just came there to you know to give us m a little bit more of what they know about mm -hmm. their you know, tradition right. and their culture okay it's interesting okay yeah. so was it like a pageant pageant like were, were, were people modeling yeah well, so to say yeah mm -hmm. exactly it was uh, not really a pageant but uh, yeah. it was um a runway so to okay. say okay yeah so mm -hmm. yeah there were a lot of models there we mm -hmm. had uh, about four guys okay yeah four guys who came there mm -hmm. then we had about 12 12 ladies okay yes so it was it was quite a competition it was mm -hmm. tough but yeah yeah, it, it was, was worth nice. it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And I see you have the... Um, was that part of the... Um, uh, what what the Queen gets? This, yeah, <laughs> it was part of what the Queen gets, uh -huh. uh, courtesy of uh, CBI. Okay. Yes. Okay, interesting. Sure. And so after that particular event, what, what is expected of you? Okay. Um, actually, I personally am expected to actually do a whole lot more than mm -hmm. uh, my other... Uh, like the top 10 right. models so mm -hmm. yes um to be the brand ambassador mm -hmm. yes and um to work with uh with them as i mentioned earlier mm -hmm. to work with the uh, 10 the 10 girls to sponsor mm -hmm. them to take them to school right ktc of cdi mm -hmm. of course uh, the concept developers um initiative, initiative because mm -hmm. these are the main um responses mm -hmm. yes they're the main um, they're the main people who brought this actually who came up with this uh, mm -hmm. event yes okay. so courtesy of that mm -hmm. i'm to sponsor about 10 girls uh, to school mm -hmm. we'll have to, uh, to have workshops from mm -hmm. time to time okay you know just we'll have skills training mm -hmm. you know just a lot of activities right. and sport mm -hmm. yes but helpful ones of course we want mm -hmm. to build up um, a concept to help others out there that's true. yes you know especially talking about our culture mm -hmm. and glamorous mm -hmm. kind of life yeah yes okay and um yeah i did i did see the award <laughs> yeah that was part of uh, the award okay yeah still courtesy of uh, cdi mm -hmm. yeah okay this is interesting this thank is very you. interesting thank you <laughs> um so what else did you win apart from the award and you know the crown obviously okay and, yeah. yeah apart from this mm -hmm. and all that i got a certificate mm -hmm. uh, of participation courtesy right. of cdi mm -hmm. still um, also um, uh, branded with this mm -hmm. Infinix mm -hmm. and also a phone. Okay. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. That as well, mm -hmm. courtesy of Infinix. Okay. Sure. All right. Interesting. And overall, um, you know, I know that modeling has, like we said earlier, has, uh, you know, people have different yeah. misconceptions exactly. about models. How do you take criticism? Okay, um, you know, <laughs> that's, it's it's always there. Yes, so, absolutely. We can't run away from yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> how I take it there. is mm -hmm. it's actually very simple. You mm -hmm. know, people will be there, they'll talk badly, but mm -hmm. then you just have to, 
I think I just ignore it because mm-hmm. I know what I want. Right. This is something that I was born with. It's in mm-hmm. me. Yeah. And you know, people view it differently, as you say, they'll criticize. But then, mm-hmm. I know what I want at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So, this is something that I, I just ignore. Mm-hmm. It's. I mean, it's always there. People always yeah. talk. But then, if you <laughs> listen too much to what people say, you can never mm-hmm. make it in life. So, I just ignore it, and then mm-hmm. I just go forward. Mm-hmm. Always. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Mm. And also, um, has there ever been a point in your life or a time in your life when you felt like quitting? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's been there. That was, yeah. um, I would say, after school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I did most of my modeling in school. I right. saw change. Mm-hmm. Then after school, you know, people just from the same critics mm-hmm. and people started saying so many things. Maybe yeah. to your dress code. Mm-hmm. You know the way you conduct yourself maybe yes. your your hair mm-hmm. um, maybe colors or haircuts you yeah. know things like that then i was like okay i think this is not working for me mm-hmm. yeah it's, <laughs> maybe it's just not my thing yeah why are people saying this you know mm-hmm. things like that so i'll be like i think i just need to stop this yes this is not me mm-hmm. but again you know it's something within me mm-hmm. i can't run away from it absolutely so i just have to go on mm-hmm. with it yeah Exactly. Okay. And any plans for the future? I actually have a span of plans. <laughs> yes. In yeah, don't we all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't we all. I have a span of plans. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, I see myself, you know, the fact that um, I'm not where I want to be yet yes. is actually motivation enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I want to be somewhere. Mm-hmm. You know, I see myself to win a lot of crowns. Yeah. You know, yeah being the face of something Mm -hmm. you know so i still have a long way to go Mm -hmm. yeah this is just not uh, the end this is just the beginning for me we're still going to see a lot more yeah (laughs) exactly (laughs) yeah okay sure and do you feel that modeling is a career that um is getting enough support from generally not just friends and family but even just you know the country uh, currently, well. mm-hmm. yeah, currently, I would say, uh, look at it from from our country. It's mm-hmm. it's getting a lot of support mm-hmm. currently, yes, because um, I can see a lot of um, advertising on mm-hmm. Facebook, you know, social media. Mm-hmm. You know, different people want to come on board to mm-hmm. just support, you know, models Absolutely. on board. Yeah, so it's it's getting, um, you know, it's starting to get support. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. people are coming to support mm-hmm. here and there, and mm-hmm. then. If if that continues, I, I mean, we can get somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and is it a, is it an industry that you would encourage someone to get into if they had a passion to do it? Yeah. If they had a passion to do it, I would actually age that someone out there to mm-hmm. just go for it. Mm-hmm. I mean, if there's something you want to do, let not anyone you know discourage you. Mm-hmm. Uh, that not anyone bring you down. If mm-hmm. you want to do something, you just feel you want to do it. Mm-hmm. Just go on and try it on. Absolutely. You never know what comes out of that. Mm-hmm. So that's exactly what I believe in. Mm-hmm. I just try things and then I see how they work out. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you want to do something, mm-hmm. you just believe in yourself and just do it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. Well, Michelle, thank you so much uh, for sharing your experience with us sure. and you know, for, for enlightening us and telling us a bit more about model work. Sure. Brand. I mean, thank you so much for having me mm-hmm. on this show. Okay, I'll be speaking to James after this, but I was uh, I was just speaking to Michelle Agnes Simumba, who is the recently crowned queen of model with a brand. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm now joined by James Zuse, who was crowned uh, king of model with a brand. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Michelle. All right, so um, when did you start modeling? I'm very interested. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't usually get a lot of male models, and when I do, it's always a plus. <laughs> okay. Um, mm-hmm. I think I, I tested the waters in um, 2015. Okay. That was once. Then didn't, the response wasn't so well. Mm-hmm. So I thought maybe I could pull out for some time. Then, mm-hmm. uh, fortunately, Brandino Lubuli Foundation came on board. Mm-hmm. Then um, I was picked. Okay. As a male model, mm-hmm. that was I think a month ago. Okay. Then this previous Friday, I thought of giving uh, a run for the first time. Yeah. yeah. Which turned out to be and great. And you won. <laughs> Look at you. Talk about first time luck, huh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it happened. Like I was, mm-hmm. I think two now of 
trying to let it sink in. Yeah. But it's really a bit different. <laughs> I can imagine. But how 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 was the feeling though? Was it exciting? Was it scary? What, what was it like? <laughs> it's a feeling that um, I can't really explain because mm-hmm. um, I was looking at um, the people who are involved. Right. I think we had um, Mr. Hope Zambia. Mm-hmm. We had um, model trainers like Nicholas mm-hmm. who were contesting. Right. So. Um, I think I wasn't really. <laughs> and you're like, like, ah. Yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I think I remember a day before I told one of the models, say, mm-hmm. I think I'm giving up on this thing. Please yeah. don't be shocked if you don't I, see ca- me. I can't make it. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. that's pretty much that. But um, after I was told to say, you're king, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I think mm-hmm. I didn't really have any words yeah. looking up and down. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, how do Speechless. I. Speechless. Yeah. <laughs> So that's that's pretty much what happened. But mm-hmm. um, I think it's slowly sinking in. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But before 2015, um, when you gave it a shot for the first time, was it something that you always imagined that you'd get into? Pretty much. Pretty much. Because mm-hmm. um, firstly, I think I'm a person who had um, a passion for fashion designing. Right. Then, despite the design itself, um, I could try out my own clothes. Mm-hmm. So in the actual sense, I think I'm a fit model, let me put it that way. Right. I'm a fit model. I used to try out my clothes mm-hmm. and take pics of them. Yeah. Then, I think these, these past two months have really changed everything. Mm-hmm. I feel I can now go for the runway too. Right. Okay. And um, earlier, I, I remember um, Offset, we were talking about you and, you know, your, your, your work as a fashion designer. Uh, how long have you been designing? Um, I did my first design in um, 2015. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, I think it was something that was it was a traditional outfit. Okay. I'm one person who loves to do traditional outfits for mm-hmm. simple reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm studying Zambian cultures and ceremonies. Right. So um, the actual sense of the course is to promote and preserve culture, mm-hmm. which I feel through fashion, I can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, despite people saying fashion itself. Mm-hmm. drives us away from uh, culture. Yeah. I still personally say there is a way in which we can preserve uh, culture through fashion. Right. Which uh, would be, for instance, maybe the previous event, which mm-hmm. was tradition and glamour, which mm-hmm. was a way of preserving culture yeah. too, despite the fashion. <laughs> okay, interesting. Mm-hmm. And how has the experience been for you as a designer now away from the modeling just the designing aspect has it been something that that's been easy what what's that like for you um i would love to to express it in this way i think mm-hmm. designing is uh, one thing that has to do with creativity right and uh i've always told myself i want to be unique in everything that i design mm-hmm. and i think that has come out so prominent in uh, the way i've been designing my outfit right um, the support out there has been great. Mm-hmm. I've loved it from my family, my classmates, mm-hmm. friends, and um, people out there in the, in the industry. Mm-hmm. I think I remember um, a week ago, yeah. some Choma residents in uh, Livingston gave me a call to say, we're having um, a Livingston Fashion Week. Mm-hmm. Why don't you show up? I was like, um, let me talk to people who yeah. are involved because yeah. I feel personally I cannot do this on my own. Mm-hmm. So the people who really help me to say, okay, let's finance this thing, or maybe mm-hmm. let's see how we can work around this. Right. Because uh, I think personally, I'm a person who does not love to do outfits without a meaning. Mm-hmm. So of late, I've been working on um, female clothing, okay. which is um, yeah. Because I was about to ask him, like, so are you designing just for the males? Because I, I was gonna come at you strong. <laughs> no. Um. Mm-hmm. Before you get my thoughts, mm-hmm. then uh, allow me to defend myself. <laughs> okay. There's this outfit that I'm working on for the ladies. Mm-hmm. It's um, in front. It's a butterfly, okay. like butterf- uh, butterfly wings that are hugging the lady to mm-hmm. I think somewhere there. Then the rest of it is like um, the um, sideways tucks. Mm-hmm. I think it's showing the transition from a pupa, which mm-hmm. is the back, the back to the butterfly. To the so butterfly. it's a story. Like mm-hmm. most of the outfits, I'm trying to come up with a story for them. Mm-hmm. They should have a storyline. Right. Yeah. So can I wear it? I'm just. I'm putting it out there. Can I sure. wear it? <laughs> sure, like, uh, if you get it first. <laughs> okay. <should> get it. <laughs> okay, interesting. And your experience as a male model, um, how's, how's that been? Has it 
come with a lot of criticism from family, from friends, the public. Um, my experience as a male model, I think it hasn't really been easy. Mm -hmm. um, the other week I was telling somebody to say, I'm walking this, this Friday. Mm -hmm. Then he showed me photos <laughs> of uh, guys who turned gay. Yeah. I was like, hey, like, <laughs> there's a difference between yeah. um, the industry and mm -hmm. what people think out there. Exactly. Um, who you are is who you are. Yeah. I think I've spoken to I've spoken to great people such as mm -hmm. I think Gift mm -hmm. who told me to say you have to know where you stand. Exactly. Don't let the industry change you mm -hmm. because I think you should have an impact on the industry. Mm -hmm. That's very true. Um, okay. And how do you deal with criticism also? It depends what I know I, I know not all of it can be positive. You have positive uh, that just wants to sort of, you know, build you. And then you have the negative criticism. I just don't like him because it's James, you know. <laughs> and you can't do anything about it. People always have a problem with something that we do. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that kind of criticism is one that um, I decide to put yes at. So I think I'm a right. person who's choosing when it comes to criticism. Mm -hmm. If um, I'm able to pick sense out of your criticism, yeah, I think I'll work around it. But if uh, your criticism is to do with you can't do it, mm -hmm. then I would know that. <laughs> exactly, know that. exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where are we seeing James in the next few years? Are you concentrating on modeling? Are you concentrating on designing? Or are you going to try and blend the two? Um, I have decided to blend the two. Okay. Because um, as a thing. fit model, I think I'm one person who wants my outfits to be out there too. Mm -hmm. Then, um, speaking of... Uh, a year or five from now, mm -hmm. that's like a bit too far. Mm -hmm. I think uh, personally, <laughs> I'm giving it myself a target to say, um, come this November, December, mm -hmm. I think I'm one person who should have um, who should have put my face, I think, on billboards. Mm -hmm. um, not only that, but I also feel as a model, I should be able to feature, I think, in one or two mm -hmm. movies. Yeah. Like that. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm looking around. That. We're dreaming big. I like that. <laughs> I like that. And do you have a name already for your brand uh, or your label? Um, of late, I've been using Jazzy, which was transformed from um, Umo Filikata Tenda, mm -hmm. which was uh, I wanted to change the way uh, an African lady dresses up and right. what people think of an African lady. Mm -hmm. But um, I feel that was one thing, maybe that same that was a bit limited to the ladies. Okay. But when I'm talking of uh, jazzy, is one thing that's talking about. Um, it's a mixture mm -hmm. of um, the lady aspect and the male aspect. So mm -hmm. we're clothing both sets. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And you know, since you're wearing the crown of um, model with a brand, what does that come with? Are you having the same duties as the queen, or are you doing different things? Um, it's pretty much the same things, but mm -hmm. uh, it depends on maybe, I think, what one decides to do within those duties at the right. end of the day. Okay. Um. Oh, interesting. And any words of advice, maybe, um, to fellow guys, especially, who are watching and, you know, just thinking about taking that leap of faith, getting into modeling, or just getting into designing? Okay. Um, I think that would be a good step to take. Mm -hmm. Uh, not just because uh, I'm a yeah. designer, but mm -hmm. uh, I strongly feel it's one thing that maybe one can do, especially if it's uh, a thing that you feel within you. Absolutely. It's a way of expressing yourself. I think at times mm -hmm. that I cannot really talk, mm -hmm. but I let the designs speak for me. Absolutely. At times that people feel maybe that's a very crazy outfit, mm -hmm. or it doesn't, doesn't make sense at yeah. all. But there's a message I'm trying to put out there. It's about mm -hmm. how I feel. Exactly. Um, for those that want to be male models, I feel it's a good step. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you know what category you want to belong in, mm -hmm. what exactly you want to be at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Don't let people, I think, uh, move you around according to how they think or what they think you should be. Mm -hmm. um. Absolutely. Okay. Well, James, thank you so much for taking the time out to join us on the show today. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So that was James Zuse, who is the king of Model with a Brand. And earlier, I was, t I, was I was speaking to Michelle, who's also the queen of Model with a Brand. You've been watching Fashion Frenzy. Until next time, remember to wear it well and dress with pride. <laughs>